Welcome, Pathfinders, to the Find the Path actual play character introduction for the Tales from Dark Moon Vale adventure series. I am your host and game master, Ross Scoggin, and today I'm interviewing Rachel. Hey, Rachel, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, getting by. Another another fun-filled day. And today we're going to talk about the ABCs of character creation, and in this case, specifically yours, Rachel. <sighs> Wonderful. Woo! First of all, let's start with A, Ancestry. Rachel, what is the name of your character, and what is their ancestry? My character is named Estrea Rasbeth, or Estrea, depending on, you know, dialect and whatnot. It really doesn't matter to her. And Estrea's ancestry is Halfling. Very cool. And... For your heritage, what did you select? I chose Gutsy. Oh, what does that do for you? Basically, it means I'm a halfling with a lot of guts. Um, (laughs) (laughs) It basically means that, specifically against uh, fear effects, I can get better critical successes. Ah, very cool. So you're going to stand your ground pretty much no matter what, huh? That's the plan. Excellent. And let's go ahead and get into the bees here on background. So, for Estrella, what background did you select? I am a forge worker for the Lumber Consortium, so I'm a laborer. Okay, fair enough. And for the laborer in general, what does that do for you? You know, since I I live in such horrible conditions, I got to choose two ability boosts. So, I put mine in dexterity because I think a dexterous little halfling is just befitting. And then I also got to train in the athletic skill and the forest lore skill. So that's going to come in handy, hopefully. And I get the assurance skill feat with athletics. Hmm, Very cool. And finally, then, let's go on ahead and talk about C's, or in other words, your class. What class did you select for Estrella? I am a fighter. Lots of fun. And uh, what kind of weapons do you focus on? I chose a rapier because of uh, details in my backstory that will be revealed as we play through the game. Sounds like fun. And uh, you already touched on this briefly, but I was actually going to add the next letter, uh, D, to our ABC discussion, just to talk about what your character does in Dark Moon Vale. You mentioned that she works for the Lumber Consortium. Do you have any other details on that? Well, she was kind of forced to work for the Lumber Consortium because um, her father originally worked for them and he got injured on the job and the Lumber Consortium sucks. So they didn't take care of him. And thankfully, she has a connection and was able to get in with the forge workers and unfortunately has to to work the day away for the Lumber Consortium, who didn't take care of her family. But they're really the only money making thing in the area. So (laughs) she's a little stuck, (laughs) but she is actively working against them in secret. (laughs) I see. Well, that sounds like an intriguing character, and I'm looking forward to seeing her in action once we start getting into our Tales from Dark Moon Vale. And uh, we'll also be launching this particular series starting May 27th. Uh, Rachel, do you have any closing thoughts before we get this wrapped up? Um, That you should all listen to it on May 27th as a birthday present to me. Oh, well, happy early birthday, Rachel. (laughs) And with that, thank you all for listening, Pathfinders. Good luck, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Find the Path Ventures is an officially licensed partner of Paizo Incorporated. Hollow's Last Hope is copyright 2007. Hollow's Last Hope and the Game Mastery module line are trademarks of Paizo. All Game Mastery images are property of Paizo and used with permission.